my next guest. He's a regular here on Wonderama, and he's certainly proven that he's an expert in the kitchen. Only 14 years old, and already he has his own company and shirts. Today, he's going to show us how to make strawberry shortcake donuts. I'm stoked for that, for sure. Put your hands together, guys, for Kwani Fields. Hi. Yeah, man. What's up, dude? Hi. Thanks for coming back. See, I thought a donut's favorite day of the week was Friday, but it's these are different, right? <laughs> yeah, these this are different. This is non-fried donuts, healthy side. Yeah. How do you do that? So you have your ingredients, like you've got your flour, you've got your sugar, yeah. you've got your salt, and you've got your vanilla okay. and butter. But the good, in, the really important ingredient is your yeast. Do you have the yeast here, or is it already put in together? This, this is, is our the yeast, yeast, but we already have it put in. So, okay. Yeah. Super important. Without that, it won't rise. It, won't, it rise. won't grow. Okay. Another process that we have to do is called kneading. So it's when you push, and then I like to push it, then turn, and then push it. What's in. the purpose of that kneading process? What is it doing? Just mixing the ingredients? It's to activate your yeast. You got to push it a little bit. Yeah. Wake you, up. Wake yeah. up. So after you uh, knead it, okay. you have to actually let it sit again, and then um, then. You're going to roll your dough out. Okay. And you can do whatever size you want. I like thicker donuts, as you can see, kind of there. Well, I see the finished product. I'm, I'm, I shouldn't be sitting right next to it because I'm <laughs> tempted to jump right to the end. So then you just cut it with okay. the cookie cutter. This little thing becomes the big donut? Yeah, so your yeast has to rise, and okay. that's how it happens. No way. But we have some already finished in our oven. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, man. And this is your recipe. You this came up with mine. this guy. Yep. That's awesome. So I'm going to help you fill them, but first we have to know how to make the filling. So for our filling, we have whipped cream. Okay. And then we have mashed strawberries. And then we put some of that in. And I like to add some jelly to get it a little bit thicker. So this is fairly simple to do, right? Yeah, this is a very simple recipe that you could probably make at home. So I've pre-made our holes. So your holes right there. Okay, grab this guy. And put this right in there? Yep, just put it right in. And then and just, just squeeze. squeeze away as much as you can fit in there. Yep. Uh-oh. Oops. <laughs> I'm so used to making a mess here on this show, I can't help myself. It's okay. I like to make messes sometimes too. Sweet, I got it. And then, kind of like you see over there, to like finish it off, mm -hmm to add, just make it nicer. Awesome, by the way. Sugar, and that's hot. supposedly healthy. I'm not sure I'm buying that. <laughs> it's definitely <laughs> healthy. The evil app. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Anybody want to try a donut? Sweet, right here. Why don't you guys come on over? Come on over this way. You, you get to be the guinea pigs, and it's a good thing. What's your name? Faith. I'd shake your hand, but I'll give you a high five. And? Jonathan. Jonathan and Faith. Why don't you come right over here? All right, where are they tasting? From these? Yeah, any of these. Ladies first. There you go, Jonathan. Now tell me how this is. I'll take one here. Kwani, take one as well. you ready? Yep. Here we go. Tell me what you think. Dude, that's so good. Fantastic. Awesome. So where can we find out this recipe? Well, I share some of my recipes on my YouTube channel. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on Junior Chef underscore Kwani, but most of them are secret. Okay, all right, so we're gonna come follow you, social media, online, everything else. Thank you, give it up for Kwani Fields, everybody!